everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my July favourites for you. I've got mostly beauty products and then a couple of little lifestyle items as well. Let's begin with the beauty products because I understand that most of you come here to watch my beauty videos. Uh, and if you want to stay for the end for the other items, then you can. The first product I'm going to talk about is what I'm wearing on my lips. This is MAC Blankety. It is their just standard lipstick formula. And it is just my favourite nude that I've put on my lips in a very, very, very long time. Um, I said in my haul video where I showed this that every time I get a new nude, I'm always like, it's my new favourite nude. But it just, it is. I can't deny that. So I just have to let you guys know about it. And I will be doing a best lipsticks, like best nude lipsticks for pale skin video. That is quite a few months away because I have a bunch of other best of for pale skin videos to get through. But note that it is coming and in the meantime I do always mention if I've got a new favourite along the way. I've also been enjoying using the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy and Angel Kisses. I have a feeling I might have mentioned this in my last favourites video and if it wasn't in that video it was some other time because I love this colour. This is a very very soft baby pink gloss and I just love it for every day when I want to look really like effortless and youthful because I think glosses look really youthful um, and it's just such a flattering shade especially now that I've got such sort of blonde hair and my fair skin I think it just really complements it. While I was away on my trip overseas I only took two foundations with me and a tint of moisturizer um, and the two foundations that I took and that I used lots and were perfect for what I needed them for were the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is what I wore on a daily basis and I loved it. It's just, I mean, I know I love it, that's why I took it, but it just did the job so well. But best of all, it held up in the Texas heat so, so well. Like, it didn't really melt off that often. I mean, maybe a little bit around your nose with the, um, with your sunglasses and stuff, but it actually held up on my skin really well. And the other product I took was my Illamasqua Skin Base. And I used this mainly for performances or if, I, if we went out for a, a night out. Um, so I wore this only about three or four times, but it did so, so well under like the hot stage lights and like when you're perspiring on stage and then last for the night, it didn't budge at all. It's such a good product. I love this foundation. And I think the color match is probably one of the best color matches for me out of my whole foundation collection. If you want to see a little bit more info on these then I will link my top 10 foundation video in the description and within that there are like little links to videos we can like get little mini reviews and demonstrations of them on so you can get a bit more information but I don't need to talk about those in depth here because most of you will have watched that video. What I've been wearing under my foundation the last few, probably it's only been about a week and a half I've been using this because that's when I got it but it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in um, pearl. Yeah, this is the lightest one they make. I'm actually not wearing it today because I'm doing a first impression review on a foundation that I'm wearing, which I can't tell you which one, although you probably know if you follow me on Instagram. But um, I didn't want to put this on because it would really change the texture and the finish of it. But I have been loving this so much. It makes such a beautiful base. It doesn't like make your makeup last longer or anything. It's not a primer but it's like a illuminating base that just makes your foundation a lot more glowy or you can mix it in with your foundations as well. I'll swatch a little bit on the back of my hand because I want you to see like how gorgeous and glowy it is. So it comes out like a white kind of pearly liquid um, and like it just, it's so, I mean, the lighting's a little bit dull today but it just leaves such a beautiful kind of pearlescent finish. You can kind of see the like reflective sheen on my skin and that just makes your skin look so beautiful and healthy and glowy. I have a lot of base products to talk about because I'm just obsessed with base products at the moment and perfecting my skin. Um, the next product is a concealer. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair. I got this really early on on my trip so I've used it for the entire month of July and I am so happy with this concealer. I think it's such a fantastic drugstore concealer for pale skin. Um, it's got quite a decent amount of coverage. Never gonna have as much as NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That concealer just packs so much punch. But this is more in line with the sort of level of coverage you'll get with the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is just a little bit less than the NARS, but the consistency is a little bit more liquidy. So if you don't like how sort of thick and creamy the NARS one is, you might really love this, and it's really affordable. It's got a little bit more of a peachy, pinky tone to it, so it's definitely for cool toned skin, um, but also the peachiness works quite well under the eyes for counteracting darkness. Um, and it also covers up blemish as well. It kind of is one of those concealers like the Too Faced Born This Way and Very Fair. Uh, it's like that shade, so where it just matches my skin. It's not lighter than it, so it means I can use it on breakouts and stuff, but you can still use it on your eyes. It's just not going to give you that like Kim Kardashian highlight. 
And then to set my concealer, I've been loving my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Fair. This is my probably one of my all-time favorite powders for pale skin. It's just such a lovely light color, but it's also a very fine buttery texture. And when you put it on, it doesn't even look like you're wearing powder. Like it's literally, it just melts into your skin and into the makeup so that it sets it, but it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. I use it with a very small brush and just put it where I need it. So like under my eyes, around any concealer I use on my chin, nose area and stuff. But I don't, I don't really put it across all of my face. Um, apart from if I was using something like this La Masca foundation, and I wanted to set it in place for the night. I generally, for nighttime looks, I do generally powder my whole face, but for day to day, um, it works really well just as like a little um, touch up kind of powder as well. And then I've got a blush and a bronzer to show you as well. The bronzer is this, the Balm, Balm Desert Bronzer. I picked this up while I was playing as well. A lot of these products you've probably just seen in my haul video. I'm sorry if they're repeats, but I've really, really been loving this. I found that this bronzer it's such a beautiful undertone for pale skin. It's got a really nice kind of red base to it. Um, so when you apply it, it looks like a really natural color tan. It's not orangey, but it's also not super cool toned or anything. So you couldn't contour with it, but it's just nice for adding some warmth to the face. I found that using a very, very large brush with this almost a powder brush size works best just because it is quite pigmented. So if you use a giant brush and just sort of dab it, and then just really buff it into the sides of your face. It just warms up your complexion and you don't get like a stripy look. Just because it's fairly dark, like it's quite a deep shade, but it's just, I love the undertone. So if you use it sparingly with a big brush, it works really, really well. And then a blush that I used literally every day while I was overseas is NARS Orgasm. This is my single of it. I actually took my NARS Guy Boudin palette, which has this color in it, um, and I used it out of that every day. So I took a whole palette and didn't even really use any of the other shades. That's so typical of me. But um, this is the single shade that I have at home. Um, I love, love, love the shade. I'm not actually wearing it today. That literally always happens to me in favorites videos. But it is just such a beautiful, flattering shade that looks good on every skin tone, but particularly pale skin because it's that perfect peachy pink. And it's got a little bit of shimmer in it too, so it gives you a nice glow. Now I also want to talk about a sunscreen that I wore a lot, well every day actually, over in the States. I ended up leaving the bottle in New York with my friend because I bought so many new products and stuff and I couldn't fit everything in and I figured it was quite a large bottle and I'd use like half of it so I let Amelia keep that um, and I'm just going to buy a new bottle in summer. I wear sunscreen every single day on my face year round but in winter I tend to skip the body sunscreen because I'm always covered up anyway and the sun's rays aren't as harsh. So I generally wear sunscreen on my body every day from about October to about March or April just depending on like the weather's still warm. Um, so the sunscreen, I'll just include a little picture of it here for you. It's the La Roche-Posay oil based sunscreen. So it's actually just goes on like an oil. You kind of feel like you're putting on like a tanning oil, but it's not. It's just a sunscreen oil and it is so, so good. It's like SPF 50, so it's really, really high protection. And it's so nice because it doesn't leave any whiteness to your skin like a normal sunscreen, obviously because it's an oil. Um, and I found that in summer, I wear a lot of black actually in summer, like black singlets and stuff. And I was always getting like white marks all over my tops from my sunscreen and it really irritates me because it actually ruins my clothes. And every summer I'm throwing away black singlets to replace them just because of sunscreen damage. So I love that it's an oil. And that way if it gets on your clothes, you don't really notice it anyway and it comes out in the wash. Uh, so, so good. I love it. It also creates the most beautiful, natural, kind of sexy sheen to your skin. So you look like dewy and glowy and I don't know, I like that kind of slight sweaty look about your skin. <laughs> so weird. But I think it looks really sexy. So yes, love a bit of oil. It's a shame I don't have any here to show you what it looks like on my skin. But I will get more for the summer and we'll definitely mention it in a video when it starts getting hot here again. And then the last item I want to talk about is a sweater. I was actually kindly sent this by the company after I'd done my winter capsule. So I didn't include it in that because I didn't receive it then. But this is the uh, Cashmere sweater by the brand Moon Cats, which is a New York based brand run by Parisian, lovely Parisian people. And they source all their cashmere from Inner Mongolia and it's so lovely and soft. The style I got was just the classic black v-neck style and I got this in a size small so it fits fairly like snugly to the body but there's still like a little bit of room. It's not a tight fitting sweater, it's still got a kind of looseness to it. You can kind of see in the bottom the way it um, tapers in so it's designed to be like a little bit more of a loose fit but still it's not like oversized if you get what I mean and the fabric on this is so lovely and soft 
and I love cashmere because I find it really really warm which this is it's lovely and warm especially since the weather here is freezing at the moment in Melbourne so it keeps me lovely and warm but you also it breathes really beautifully because I find if you're inside wearing a sweater sometimes you know you get too hot um, like it, and then you sort of get sweaty because the the fabrics like acrylic sweaters just you sweat in them but I find with wool and with cashmere and uh, merino and such sort of materials your skin breathes so much better um, and it actually keeps you warmer than acrylic sweaters as well so I'm a big fan of really of true wool sweaters I do have a link in the description to their website if you want to check out their sweaters they also do a beautiful silk line as well which I'm really keen to try out some of their silk pieces too so have a little check out of that if you're interested so that's it for my favorites video today I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it and if you have any suggestions for any products you want me to try out or you think I'd really love then do leave them in the comments below because I love getting your suggestions so until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.